Today, we're gonna to be talking about nitric oxide and the health benefits that it can bring. So scientists and researchers are increasingly finding that nitric oxide is the solution that we've all been searching for when it comes to a healthy heart, lungs, and the rest of our body. We have been fielding tons of calls and emails lately about nitric oxide because of its reported antiviral and lung supporting qualities. And obviously in the current world climate, you can understand why that would be. Um, we're actually ending up shipping off nitric oxide all over the world um, and more places than we've ever shipped things before, which has been a very interesting experience for sure. But today I'm gonna tell you why everyone is suddenly talking about this miracle molecule. And I'm gonna help you determine if it's a supplement you should incorporate into your routine today. So nitric oxide is a naturally occurring compound in your body and it stimulates the release of certain hormones and it causes blood vessels to widen, especially in the lungs. So the process of your blood vessels widening up is called vasodilation or vasodilation, however you wanna put it. So vasodilation is the widening of your blood vessels and it occurs when the muscle walls of your arteries relax um, and that allows the blood vessels to become sort of more open, which of course, if it's more open, so if it's constricted like this, then it releases like this, it just makes sense that there's more blood that is able to flow through it, right? So it increases your blood flow and can lead to a decrease in blood pressure, which I know can be very important for a lot of people. So why does it combat inflammation? Vasodilation is a naturally occurring process that helps your body stay healthy by increasing blood flow to all of the tissues in your body. Uh, but for many people, um, incorporating a Nit nitric oxide supplement into their routine may actually increase these benefits, um, especially, you know, the older we get, uh, the, the lower and more restricted our blood flow can become. So in the case of inflammation, vasodilation actually plays a role by increasing blood flow to the injured area, while also increasing the permeability of the blood vessel walls. So both of these factors help immune cells to kind of make it to the site and deal with the issues so that inflammation can be shut down. Now, nitric oxide is definitely not a supplement for everyone. You should not take nitric oxide if you have cirrhosis, and you should not take it if you have low blood pressure. We don't wanna lower your blood pressure even more, um, and that is a very common um, effect of nitric oxide. So we have our own supplement blend, which is a spray, um, which goes under your tongue, and, and but, but any nitric oxide is sort of gonna do the trick. The, the main difference is that the under the tongue stuff is like instantly um, uptaken into your body and it'll, it'll get where it needs to go quickly and there's no chance of any of the supplement being destroyed in the stomach. So here, here are the benefits of, of nitric oxide. So obviously circulation. We talked about circulation so far. Your blood vessels relax, they dilate, delivers more oxygen and nutrients to the body through the enhanced circulation and the result is better cardiovascular performance. So every primary system in your body is gonna benefit from that. It also has been shown to reduce ED, erectile dysfunction. Uh, so it has been the subject of quite a lot of studies. Nitric oxide increases blood flow, and of course that can help with ED. Uh, and a lot of the this, this studies are showing that that's true. Um, Viagra, in fact, um, one of the things it does is it primarily boosts your nitric oxide production. Uh, so men with mild to moderate ED uh, could benefit from, from nitric oxide. Uh, healthy blood pressure, of course, because it relaxes and dilates the arteries, it promotes better circulation and blood flow. So if you have high blood pressure, it's going to help to bring that blood pressure down. And of course, increased energy and stamina. Now, researchers suggested that nitric oxide supplements can actually increase your performance and natural energy on a cellular level. And that cellular level part is very, very important here. Um, it may even maximize the benefits of common heart drugs that you may need to take um, and improve overall heart function. And in some studies, it has actually replaced uh, these heart drugs, but we wouldn't recommend doing that, of course, um, without going under the supervision, supervision of your primary care provider. Uh, so it can really help to improve these, these heart issues. It, it's also thought that improving your nitric oxide 
levels in the body is going to equate to improved immune function across the board. Uh, what we're really seeing here is that it can be an important um, toxic defense molecule against infectious organisms, and it regulates functional activity, growth, and death of many immune and inflammatory cells. Then, of course, there's lung health. So if you become sick with a virus or pneumonia or you have asthma, you kind of want to make sure that your lungs are getting the optimum amount of oxygen, right, as you breathe. So nitric oxide increases that circulation, which ensures that your blood delivers nutrients and oxygen to your lungs. So this will allow them to function and heal as they should in times of illness. And of course, this will probably reduce uh, the uh, asthma side effects uh, that many people may experience. But the main reason people are being all over nitric oxide recently is because of its potential antiviral capabilities. So nitric oxide supplements are great for overall health and wellness, but the studies that have been done recently have, of course, been focusing around COVID-19 and combating it. And this is where the spike in people buying it from all around the world is. And, and again, the secret to this being possible is oxygenation of the lungs. So if you improve your oxygenation of your lungs, it's going to be a lot harder for the virus to knock you on your back and to have you end up on a respirator in the hospital because your lungs are going to be healthier. The oxygenated tissue is going to be able to deal with everything there. And of course, the immune boost in the area will help to fight things off. But what about microcurrent, right? That's what I'm always talking about. So surely there must be a microcurrent twist to this. Well, there is. <laughs> Side effects of our wound healing study indicate that microcurrent therapy may increase nitric oxide production as well. We saw this primarily through the side effect where 70% of men, 75% of men that actually received this ended up um, getting early morning erections, which really showed that there is a big boost of, of nitric oxide in the area um, since they didn't really have these, these side effects before. So... Side effects aside, you know, what we're looking at here is that any kind of microcurrent therapy could increase nitric oxide. However, combining the nitric oxide supplements with microcurrent is probably the dream team and honestly where I would recommend going. So when recommending nitric oxide, I mentioned this at the beginning, we prefer our own nitric oxide spray. This is just because it's sprayed under the tongue, absorbed in seconds into the body. Whereas with pills and capsules, it takes longer and some of it gets destroyed in the gut. So you're able to get your biggest bang for your butt with the spray. You just spray a few sprays under your tongue and it's uptaken into the system. So you can pick this up uh, on the Santa shop. Um, it's, it's easy to find. It's under the supplements tab. But otherwise, thank you all for joining me today. If you have any questions about nitric oxide, how it works, how microcurrent might help, what's the best microcurrent option, drop them in the comments below. If you're watching this as a replay, appreciate the hashtag replays that you guys have been putting in because it really helps me sort of see that I didn't miss your questions during the video. And then I can respond to you in kind. Um, and then people can know as well that, you know, we weren't having a conversation on the video too. Uh, so again, thanks so much for joining me today. I will see you next week for another Monday training. Take care, everyone.